Hey guys and welcome. Today on ATPL Theory we're going to be talking about true magnetic and compass headings and courses and how to go from one to the other. So first off, what's the difference between a heading and a course? Well, a heading is where our aircraft is pointing, the head of the aircraft is pointing, and a course is the track that we're actually flying, drawing across the surface of the earth. And they can be quite different. In no wind, they will be the same. However, if we have a strong wind from the right, for example, we're going to be facing into the wind and drifting left. And it's very important to visualize that when you're talking about drifting angle. So this is my little chart. This is how I remember it, how I've always remembered it. So we have true course and true heading, magnetic course and magnetic heading, and finally compass heading. Now you may have heard these little uh, rules. East is least, west is best. They only work in the direction of the arrows. Very important to remember that. We'll do the biggest, most complicated example, which would be going from a true course to a compass heading. Now you can go either way. You can go this way or you can go this way. A couple of terms that we need to know are variation, deviation, and drift. Drift is the drift angle I was talking about a second ago. If we have a crosswind from the right, we will be drifting left. Very important to visualize which way we're drifting. I like to go from course to heading and then work my way up across the headings. So to calculate the difference between your course and your heading, we just need to know the drift angle. Now, in some cases you need to calculate that with the CR3 or CRP5, whichever device you use. Other cases you're given it. So it's just a question of adding or subtracting it and be very careful what you're doing. The easiest way I can put this is visualize where the wind is coming from. So if the wind is coming from our right, then our course is going to be less than our heading because we're always going to be heading into the wind. So our heading is going to be to the right if the wind is to the right and our course is going to be slightly to the left. So very important to visualize that and add or subtract the degrees as necessary. So once we've taken care of drift, now we're up in this top line here only dealing with headings. So we have true heading. Now, where does true heading come from? Well, that's relating to true north. Now, true heading is normally what we get from any sort of chart which is lined up with true north normally. Magnetic heading, on the other hand, is related to magnetic north. Now, to calculate that, we need to know the variation, which is the difference between magnetic north and true north. As we know, the magnetic north pole is actually constantly moving. Not only that, but as we move around the world, the variation will change, and the variation will be given to us. It's specific to a location on the Earth. Finally, once we know our magnetic heading, we can find our compass heading, adding in the deviation angle. Now, a deviation is essentially just a compass error due to equipment systems, a compass being close to the radios, it's in a big metal box, it's going to have some sort of errors. And these are normally printed on the little chart below the compass or given to you in one form or the other. It's not something you will have to calculate over. Now, the deviations will be given to you in east or west, plus or minus. And remember, the east is least, west is best formula only works following the arrows. So if I was going from true heading to magnetic heading, and I had a easterly variation, I would know east is least, so this one would be less least than this one. If I was given a magnetic heading, a variation, and asked to calculate my true heading from magnetic to true, the rule would be inversed. So if I had a westerly variation, I would know that this one would be best, this one would be more, so this one would have to be less. So very careful with east is least, west is best. It only works in the direction of the arrows. If you're going the other way around, it's the opposite. Now, a lot of you say, well, why is west best? Why, why do we add a westerly variation or a westerly deviation? Well, I've drawn it here in a very simple example so you can follow. So we have an aircraft there, and it's lined up with a grid of some sort, with a chart, for example, and then we have our true north. And we are doing currently tracking a heading of uh, a true heading of 100 degrees. As you can see, if the variation is west, it means the magnetic north is 25 degrees west of true north. And visually, you can see that angle there is bigger already. So that's why west is best. We add that on. It's a bigger angle. And that's the same goes for deviation. So if deviation is west, again, that is adding on to that angle. In this example, I've said we have a 25 degree west variation. So our magnetic heading would be 125 and then to go from magnetic to compass we add 10 degrees west deviation and we get to a compass heading of 135 which is what we would follow with the compass on the aircraft. Personally for the exam I always used to do a little sketch for each question just very quickly draw a crosshairs north south east west and draw your current heading whichever you're given true magnetic and then draw the variation and the deviation in there. If it's to the east, you can see it's going to be a lesser angle. 
If it's to the west, it's going to be a bigger angle. I hope that helps, guys. It's relatively easy once you get used to it. Just practice the questions, memorize this little sketch here, and my recommendation would be always to draw out the questions in the exam. Just a very quick drawing will help you visualize whether you're adding or subtracting that number. And remember, be very careful coming back the way. If you're given a compass heading or a magnetic heading, you're asked to work out a true heading. Be very careful going back the way not to get those rules mixed up. East is least, west is best in that flow of direction. Now, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Comment for any videos you'd like to see. All the best, till next time.